Hello, this is APAD TV Admin and welcome to part two of the M8S Smart TV Box Review. It's a quad-core Android TV box with a, a Times8 GPU. And uh, what we're going to start with is uh, an Antutu benchmark test. I haven't run one before on this device. and uh, I just downloaded this from the Play Store. And uh, we're going to test the device and see what type of score it gets. Okay, test. Okay, now I've just been playing around with the device while I uh, downloaded Antutu, and uh, it does seem very polished that the firmware, and um, I've had no like freezes or delays. It's very fluid, very well, uh, very well programmed. The firmware, uh, the Play Store works perfectly. I was able to sign in with a new uh, Google account and create one. And uh, I tested the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi works fine. Ethernet works fine. Got the same performance from the Ethernet as the, the Wi-Fi. Just going through an 8 megabit uh, DSL connection in China. And normally Google's a little slow in China, sometimes because uh, the, the, the firewall in China slows things down but uh, it was all working fine, so uh, outside of China this box will operate absolutely perfectly. Okay, 41% on the test, Let's see what type of score we get here. It's a quad-core A9 RK3188 system board. I've plugged in a couple of um, USB flash disks there as well with uh, some media on. I checked the performance of the media playback, it's perfect. It's actually, I found it to be a little bit better than some of the new 4K boxes on this particular box, even though this, this box can't play 4K video or 2K video. It, uh, it plays 1080p so well that um, I think it's a good testament to the to the well polished firmware. I also tested uh, XBMC on this device and I was able to launch the, the media file via XBMC and it played perfectly. And uh, I'll be honest with you, it's the best performance I've seen a device operate XBMC at playing a, a 15 gig uh, DTS movie file, a 1080p movie file. It's the best performance I've ever seen XBMC perform on any device so I think this is a really good uh, indicator of the quality of this device. FPS is a little bit shaky on the 3D test here. It's a pretty intensive test actually you've got water reflections and uh, you've got hundreds of thousands of uh, triangles being rendered. We'll see the overall test. The remote control works works really well as well. You don't need to be like pinpoint accurate when you uh, see what type of score we got. 16,000 quad core device, it's not bad. I think if we get the latest version of Antutu, we might find we get uh, better results. Let's go to the details. Must admit, I thought it might uh, might get um, a higher score because the machine is so fast. I will rerun the test as well with the uh, the very latest uh, Antutu. In if I get any better results, I'll, I'll post them in the details. Yeah, 2 gig of RAM, 16 gig storage, 4 cores, and it's uh, 1.4 gigahertz, the exact uh, speed that's uh, specified in the specifications. Uh, a lot of uh, device descriptions will give you the the rated speed of the CPU, not the 
actual speed it's configured to go at. So in other words, in firm, with custom firmware or a CP, CPU overclocking app, you could change the speed of the CPU. And uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean when you when you purchase a, a product and it says it's got a 1.6 or 1.4, it's actually going to be one of that. But with this product, the M8S, it's actually running at 1.4 gigahertz, which is what is stated in the description. Okay, I think that's all the uh, interesting Antutu data. And, uh, and there we go. There's the Antutu test and. Uh, Let's check out some other aspects. Okay, let's check out the settings menu and uh, see what options we've got in there on this M8S. Okay, we've got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Ethernet. And in the, the networking options, we've got PPoE for like uh, some types of DSL and ADSL connections. Mobile networks, probably redundant. Uh, VPNs, so you can have a proxy server. And tethering and portable hotspots, so you can operate the device as a Wi-Fi access point, if you like and uh, just connect it by Ethernet and uh, use the Wi-Fi as, uh, as an access point for other devices to connect to. Okay, Connect to PC via the OTG cable, connect it to the USB socket. Now the sound, we're going to do a sound test in a minute and a video test, so uh, let's set it up. Uh, you can have it uh, go in via HDMI to your TV and let your TV decode, or you can have the box decode the audio. What we're going to do is we're using the SP diff, and that's going to a Yamaha amp, and that's uh, so we're going to use pass through. So that's just going to let the data straight out into the uh, into the amp, and then the amp's going to decode the DTS sound. Okay, display screen size. Now the HDMI mode is on 720p, so but we're going to whack that up to 1080p 60. Keep that; that looks fine still. And you've got the option of the AV out port, or you know the multi AV out that's at the back, or the HDMI. Obviously, we're on HDMI here. Okay, and there, and that's all those settings done. Okay, we got the standard settings, Google accounts, and so on. Okay, about device. Four point four point two. Okay, so um, let's use the Explorer, USB, Disclaim. I'm not sure if the, the DTS will work via um, XBMC, it might need a, a plug-in, I'm not sure, let's give it a test. I tried it just now but I didn't have the amplifier connected so I don't know if the sound will work. Okay, okay it's detected DTS, right, that's definitely DTS from the end. But uh, it's not passing through, so we'll use a different player. It sounds great, but um, it's not passing through, so uh, we'll, we'll come back out. Sometimes XBMC can uh, require a bit more configuration. Okay, and this time we're going to try this file with uh, MX Player. MX Player can also require some plugins to play DTS or to pass through. Okay, it won't work. We'll, uh, we'll try one of the built-in players. Okay, we'll use this one. And with different files of different formats, you, it's always worth trying different um, different players. Where it's smooth and crisp and quick with DTS on the amp displayed so we're getting proper DTS coming out. Well, we've got this bar down the bottom here where the, uh, I mean it, it, it's just a black area really basically but it's just grey instead so we're not losing anything but uh, I mean it looks really good. Let's, um, let's come back out and uh, try the other inbuilt player, this one here. Yeah. We'll test this one. Uh, start over. I tested it with the amp a moment ago. That's more like it. And that looks perfect. And we've got DTS on the amplifier using the pass through. And it's ultra crisp.
and this one is uh, pretty impressive. I think it's a well, uh, well polished firmware. Okay, let's just reopen it again and, and see how fast it can seek. Before the war. See how fast it can seek. You saw what they did. Uh, it's instant. 15 gig file yeah. instantly uh, browsed. Oh, that's perfect. It's perfect. I will play more so you can see the performance a little bit more. But uh, with YouTube, it automatically detects uh, Hollywood movies and stuff. So uh, we can't do that. So uh, there we go. There we go. There's. Um, 15 gig DTS file played with DTS sound passing through to the amplifier. And, uh, let's check out some other aspects. All right, let's continue to check out the M8S. Um, let's do a little bit of web browsing. I just wanted to show how uh, fluid the web browsing experience is with this uh, M8S uh, TV box. And you can see if you go through the menus on uh, dealsprime.com, you see the, the web experience is very quick. It's just like a, a desktop PC. Performance and all the menus just just you can click them and you, you clearly see you can just everything functions exactly how you want. Right click there. I'm using the mouse at the moment. Okay. It's quite a busy store, so uh, you can see a lot of different things on the screen. But uh, that's 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 dealsprime.com anyway. The the people who supplied us this uh, demonstration uh, M8S. But uh, let's check out some um, some other sites such as uh, BBC, a news website. We can check out BBC. We start opening a few different sites. We can check out uh, CNN. Okay. That's if we can open these in China. I mean often the news is blocked. But as you can see it loads in instantly. It's all fully functional. Now you can request uh, the mobile site. This is the desktop site. I know it isn't ticked, but you can click that and it will switch to mobile site mode. So it will operate rather like a phone and you'll get a more simplistic browsing experience. But uh, we've got a big screen here. We've got a powerful device. We can handle the desktop version of uh, websites. As you can see, you can just scroll through. It's very fluid. Everything's functional, like if you float over instantly, it's, uh, it's changing, there's, there's no delay there. And you see all the news there. And it's the BBC side, it's the same thing. Okay, so that, that's the web browsing experience. It's pretty good, pretty fluid. Um, unfortunately, most video sites are blocked in China, so I can't really demonstrate uh, browsing YouTube and stuff, but the device can do that. Okay, so there we go. There's, there's your websites on uh, the M8S. Okay, I just wanted to demonstrate uh, another very popular uh, online streaming uh, video app. It's called VST. And with VST, you get uh, instant access to a large uh, library of. Um, You get access to a large library of uh, media, such as uh, films, TV shows, music, music videos, uh, kids TV. So we can just browse through and you can see there's a lot of Chinese content because it's a Chinese service, but uh, you've got a lot of uh, Western Hollywood movies and stuff like that on there as well. For example, we can just uh, click movies. And there'll be a lot of uh, Chinese films there, but there's also uh, like Rio there, Dragon 2. I mean, we can just, uh, that's probably a preview, I think. I don't know if this is out. I don't know, let's just click it and find out. Sometimes in, in the the front of... Uh, yeah, it's just a preview. But you've got an endless uh, listings of films. I mean, we can go to search. We can type in the name of a film and it can search. And also we can just click the, the movie icon and we just get rows and rows of 
of films we can, we can look through. This looked pretty good, I haven't seen this yet. Tom Cruise action film. This one's a little bit low quality, but it's online streaming and it's instant. Uh, it looks like a cinema job, this one. But most of the time, uh, most of the movies are not cinema jobs. I think that's the only cinema job I've ever seen. Uh, cinema camera job uh, on here, this service. Okay, Born Identity, old film. Let's just check the quality out for the online service. Right, now, using a keyboard here, I can, I can search through using the right <coughs> arrow key. And I can also adjust the volume of the, the M8S using um, the volume control on the keyboard. We can scroll through and just go to any place in the movie. But I mean, it's fluid and it's uh, an instant uh, entertainment service, really, that's free. There we go. And you've got lots of TV shows as well. Let's go check out the TV. TV. Okay, we can just browse. There's Miss Marple there, the murder mystery. There's a lot of Chinese shows, but uh, it's also lots of like 24 and everything like that. Breaking Bad, you can probably find there. Yeah, there's 24 that there's a new season. Yeah, there's a lot of a uh, lot of content on here. It's just loads and loads. And now this this bank here, we can scroll through. This will get to the bottom at some point, and then it won't go any further. But uh, you can use the search function as well for older titles that won't be in the in the top. Anyway, that's that's enough of that. But uh, I thought you'd be interested in that. That's a good little utility. Okay, and, uh, and there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this review of the uh, M8S uh, quad-core Android TV box. Remember to, to like the video and um, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Head over to dealsprime.com to buy yourself one of these devices. At the moment, they're under $90, I think 80, 80 something US dollars, including free shipping, so it's very cheap. And uh, also remember to head over to uh, apad.tv the technical support forum where I post the videos and uh, where I have other stuff there. Okay, so thank you for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.